Hey, I'm DeLove Woods, and I'm here with Westview Girls Basketball. Welcome, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, so I apologize on behalf of Portland Sports Beat because our host, they're slaughtering you guys' names right now. So what I want to do is give you guys a chance, ladies, a chance to introduce yourselves. So you can say your name, your grade, your position. Let's go ahead and say your Twitter, Instagram name. Maybe you can get some more <laughs> followers or something. And then your pet peeve. All right, so we start over here. I'm Jamie Nard. Um, my Twitter is Jamie Nard, J-A-I-M-E, Nard, N-A-R-E-D, with two Ds. My Instagram <laughs> is just Jamie Nard. And I'm Dana Bentz, and I'm a senior, and my Twitter name is Trinidana. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and I'm Olivia Williams, and I'm a senior. I play point guard, shooting guard, and my Twitter name is Olivia Ann 32 That's cool. So we have Jamie, Dana, and Olivia here with us today. Got that, Brad? I didn't say it all. <laughs> I can't take credit for All right, so girls, playing for coach. Um, well, he's a coach I respect greatly. Um, how, how does he motivate you guys to get going during the season? Well, he always just keeps it fun, so it's like we never want to, like, play bad like we always like keep pushing because it's so much fun he makes it fun every day cool I think just adding on to that it's it's not really like something that we're not looking forward to just going into practice and we want to get in practice because we know we're going to get better but he also makes it so it's not like not like a job so we're coming in we're having fun every single practice and getting better cool so what's that typical practice like for you um a typical practice is we do free throws, scrimmage. Um, what else, guys? Mm, scrimmage, that's basically our main We thing. do a lot. We do some shooting. Some shooting? Going yeah, it's pretty high intense most of the time. So you said you're the point guard. Best relationship needs to be the coach-point guard relationship. What's your personal relationship like with coach? Me and Lindsay have a really good relationship. Um, he's been such a good coach. I was a transfer from Southridge to Westview my sophomore year, and ever since then he's just helped me like improve my game. Um, he believes in each and every one of us to the fullest, so he just pushes us like to be the best we can be. So when we're on the court and he tells us what we have to do, we just like know exactly what to do because he explains the game so well, and he's such a good coach. So for you, I mean, I'm, I'm a point guard too. I like to call my own plays. Mm -hmm. Do you like to call your own plays, or is it kind of like a joint effort between you and Lindsay, or do you call them? Like, what, what, what goes on throughout the course of the game? Um, I think between all the point guards, it's like a joint effort most of the time. I mean, if we see, like, a mismatch or anything, we'll call a different play, but most of the time we listen to coach. So we have a pretty good relationship in that sense. Cool. So you guys went to Hawaii. We talked a little bit about this earlier with coach. How was that trip for you guys, like, in terms of, Heaven. like, you know, <laughs> not even just basketball, but the experience of team bonding outside of basketball? What was it like for you guys? It was so fun. We, uh, a couple players, we got to... We went to mopeds and just drove around the <laughs> island. Yes. Drove around the oh. island. We we went to different beaches. We we it was just so fun doing different things outside of Oregon. It was hot every single day, so mm -hmm. that was just it was so fun. Did you guys make it up to Diamond Head by any chance? No, no, we didn't. No? Mm -hmm. Next time you're out there, get the moped and go all the way up top to Diamond Head. That's okay. the best spot. Cool. Right. So last week, Oregon City, big game for you. Um, Mentally, what was it like going into that game? Um, I think just like it's going into every game. You want to be focused. You want to um, win the game. You want to get your team hyped up and just just ready to deliver. I think just going into every game, there's not, nothing, anything, not anything different, I guess. Yeah. And we talked about you guys' early season struggles and stuff like that, um, just trying to make adjustments in, in order to be the most successful toward the end of the season. So – Every year, you know, basketball season starts mentally. You got to get prepared. What do you guys sacrifice during the season, um, personally and as a group, in order to be the best possible team that you can be? Um, we sacrifice like our social life most of the time. You know, we don't really have like a lot of time to hang out with our friends outside, and so we like have to do that. And also, um, one thing that we have been trying to do is get more sleep. <laughs> you know, yeah, thanks so. Yeah, that's our team goal. <laughs> oh, yeah, and by the way, we didn't like having our phones taken away. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't help, but I mean, yeah, we have to sacrifice a lot. I mean, this is our senior season, and we're coming out to have the goal of winning a state championship. So we have to come focus, and that's what we try to do. Cool. Yeah. And girls, for you, personal sacrifices? 
basically everything, like our lives are basketball, like in season and out of season for most of us. So we just sacrifice everything for basketball. Yeah, Jamie? I think it's, that's what you sign up for when you play basketball. I don't think it's anything that's different from anyone else. We just, we just put more effort in outside of practices, outside of what we're doing as a team because we want to be great as to help our team. So how close are you guys as a team? Like what kind of unit are you? Family. Family unit? Yeah. So what are the bus trips like to road games? And you guys got to go to Metro League games, you get on the bus. What's a what's an average ride like on the bus? Headphones in, everyone's just zoning. Everybody's in their zone. Yeah, we got a little bit better. At the beginning of the season, it was a little, it wasn't so good, but it's gotten better as far as just coming focused for the game and just understanding what we need to do and preparing, starting way before we get to arrive in the gym. Right. So, yeah. so you talked about headphones in, in the game. What yeah. gets you going before the game? Like, what's your motivation? <laughs> you got your, got your iPhone plugged in or yeah. your Galaxy plugged in or whatever. What's playing in your headphones? Well, for me, um, Trinidad Jr. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the, it's the gold song? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you want to sing a little bit of uh, it? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got? What are you listening to? Um, I listen to ASAP Ferg. I just go on Pandora and do random rap music. What? That's your station? It's called yeah. random rap music? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. What's your station on Pandora? It's gas pedal. It's the radio. Gas pedal radio. Gas so pedal radio? Yeah, it's the Sage the Gemini song. Gas oh. pedal. Oh, that gas yeah. pedal. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So all right. It just does different songs. Now. You want to give the people a sample of the gas pedal song? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. You're, you know the gas pedal song? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. No, she knows it better. <laughs> she knows it better. <laughs> So what's, Slow down. Uh, what's on your what's on your uh, iPod? Like, what are you listening to? Um, recently, I started listening to this song called "Nothing on Me" by Tony Remitty. She's yeah. kind of like an undercover artist, you know. Yeah. But um, I actually like to listen to slow jams, like genuine and like I don't, I don't know why. Yeah, it calms me down, gets me focused. <laughs> it's weird, but I mean, it helps me out. So. Oh, that's yeah. cool. That's cool. So, um, moving forward for you guys, you're in Metro League. You're established right now. You've got four game win streak. Um, what are you guys gonna do to maintain your focus um, moving forward toward the 6A state tournament? I think the biggest thing is coming and approaching every game with what we have in mind, our ultimate goal. Um, I think that we are, have shown what we are capable of and just stepping out on the court every single game with that mentality, we, we know we are capable of so much more than um, when we're not playing to our fullest potential. So I think that's the biggest thing. Cool. And Dana, you're sitting next to probably one of the, the greatest players the state of Oregon has ever seen. Um, you've been playing with her. Um, tell us what, what it's like for you um, to play with somebody that's so talented. Yeah, well, it's definitely hard when I have to guard her like every day in practice. <laughs> But um, she's, I just know she's made me so much better. Like, I think I've been playing with her since, like, eighth grade. And every day it's just me and her. Like, I'm guarding her all the time. And she's just made me such a better player defense, defensively and offensively because I've had to, like, make better moves to, like, get by her because she's so talented on defense too. And how does it make the game easier for you? Like in terms of, you know, teams focusing in, how does, how does that relate to you? Yeah, well, when we're, like, down or in a – like um, in a what's it called? Yeah, a deficit of like the end of the game, then she just steps up and does everything right and steals the ball when this ball needs to be stolen or makes a layup when we need two points really quick. And yeah, she just does it all. Jamie, you do it all? I don't know. <laughs> a little bit shy? Whatever, whatever we need to win, that's just my mentality as a, t as a person on this team if we need two points I'm gonna find someone to get two points or just whatever we need to win that's what I'm gonna do. So mentally when you're going into the game um, there's people that just have the natural ability to score what kind of mentality do you take on go starting the game is it get everybody else involved first or you gonna look to s score first like mentally what, what are you thinking once tip-off happens? It's not I don't really have that mentality at all it's I, we need to win this game, so how am I going to get everybody involved to to win this game? Because 
you, you can't win games by yourself. That's impossible. So everyone contributing to win the game. That's that's all I think about. How am I going to get Ashley the ball for two points? How is Dana going to um, – how many rebounds is she going to get? How am I going to make it easier for her to score? So that's, that's really what goes to my mind. Cool. And for you, um, you guys are kind of – point guard by committee, um, as Lindsay <laughs> says. Um, how has that been for you um, in terms of, like, flexing minutes, being able to play with somebody like Ashley, who's, a, you know, a great point guard and also a great scorer, and then obviously you have, you know, another great scorer on your team. How is that for you? Um, it's been actually a really great experience. I've actually been able to play with Jamie for a couple of years now, and also playing with Ashley. She's been such a great addition to our team and making it a little, a little easier for me. You know, um, how, having another ball handler always helps. And so um, it's been a great addition. It's been great playing with these two. And um, it also helps me, like, get my flow into the game, I guess, you know, right. and just, like, so that I can do what I have to do to contribute. So you guys are all seniors here. Um, you've been there. This is your last chance. Um, what, what do you talk to? Like, what do you say to Ashley? Um, you guys have Bria also as a transfer, the younger players. What do you say to the younger players to get them focused throughout the, the, the game and the course of the season? Um, mainly we like reiterate that they, we have to all stay focused like we have one goal like I said it's our senior year our like one goal is to win state and so we try to like reiterate that to stay focused and take it out of game as a uh, one game at a time and um, also just like coming like into practice doing what we have to do so that we can win the games and so I mean I think the main thing is that we tell them to stay focused and work your hardest. So. Cool. So um, you talked earlier, basketball takes away from your social life. Um, what do you guys do off season um, for training, for fun? Um, what's life look like outside of basketball season for you, Dana? Well, for me, um, I still have basketball practice. We have spring ball, we have fall ball, <laughs> we have summer ball. <laughs> so it's still just practice and hitting the weight room too. Cool. Jamie? Uh, the weight room <laughs> outside of season and um, we go on the track a lot, um, but I think the off season is the time where you get better. So I I feel like off season is way harder because you're spending so much time in the gym and just trying to develop and get better as uh, on your own um, own own things, I guess, as a player. So I think that's that's off season is the season. Cool. Yeah. So. Before we close out here, just curious to get to know uh, your team's personality a little bit. So, on your team, your entire varsity roster, we want to know who's the biggest girly girl. Who's the one that's in the in the mirror putting on her makeup before the game? <laughs> <laughs> that's Otto. Oh, yeah, dub. That's yeah, that's me. <laughs> Do you actually literally put on makeup before the game? I don't actually take off my makeup for the games, <laughs> but I am a girly girl. I'm a big girly girl. I like to dress up every day. Cool. And yeah. Who's the smartest player on your team? Oh. <laughs> most, <laughs> most likely to go to Ivy League school. Uh, um. Mm. <laughs> um maybe, maybe, I don't think we have maybe an Megan. <laughs> Megan. Megan. So Megan, all, Megan Carter, Carter. all the giggles might make this one easier. Who's the funniest person on your team? Who's the class clown Jamie on your team? And Jamie Nard. Jamie Oh, Haley, yeah. Yeah, and Jamie. Yeah. What, Jamie. what type of stuff does Jamie do to get laughs out of you guys? Just everything she does is just funny. <laughs> <laughs> and the looks she gives people. Oh, is that, yeah. Was yeah. that that face? Yeah, the Jamie glare. That's Jamie the Jamie snarl. glare? The Jamie snarl. All right. Yeah. On your team, Coach probably, he, he knows the answer to this, but he would never admit to it. Most likely to forget the play. Bria thing. <laughs> Yep, Bria. We love, we love Bria, but that's most likely to forget. But and I, and I watched her. you guys' this game against Clackamas, and she's probably one of the hardest working players yeah. I've seen. Oh, yeah. She um, great is. addition to you guys' team, but yeah. most likely to forget the play. Yeah. yeah. All right. Three seniors. Last question. Girls, do you have a prom date already? And if not, who do you want to be your prom date? Right here. <gasps> I have a list of about 50 husbands. <laughs> I would say number one, Blake Griffin, hands down. All right. I don't have a prom date, but um, I'm single, so. <laughs> All that data. Um, my boyfriend. So I guess I already. And your boyfriend plays for? The Spartans FC. Spartans FC. Yeah. Cool. All right. This is Westview Girls Basketball, and we're sending it back over to Brad.